All right, let's see. First one, start off with the definition. Good, like normal. Potential difference, what is that? It's based on, definition is based on W equals QV. So the short, there's two ways to define this. The shorter one is just to say, potential difference <coughs> is the work done per unit charge. You can say, yeah, per unit charge. If you want to say the long version, then you will say, you will be using the energy transfer per unit charge. So the energy transfer per unit charge from electrical to non-electrical around the whole circuit. But never mind, we use the short version today. Okay, okay. One mark here. B1. That is how you can define potential difference. Eh, hang now. <laughs> anyway. And then we come to this power supply and some zero internal. What is this circuit thing? Check and see. Okay, read through that. 240 volt, zero internal resistance. That's important. So we don't have to worry about internal resistance. Heater. This one is the heater. Okay, la. What, what are we supposed to do with this thing? Okay, check the bottom part. The wire used to connect the heater have length. Ah, let me redraw the circuit because it's up there. So the circuit goes like this. We have power supply, wire, heater, back to power supply. Circuit must be a loop. Ah. Closed circuit only it will flow. If not, it won't flow. Current won't flow. So we have wires, each wire length is 75 meters. And they have cross section area A. I just write there la. Resistivity. And the heater have resistance 38 ohm. Show that the resistance of each wire is 0 0.54. So when you see resistivity, when you see this keyword, probably it's related to R equals to rho L over A. Can do we have enough information to do this? Ah? Each wire or oh, resistance of each wire or oh. Okay, mm, rho given to us, yes, yes, 18, don't forget n ohm meter is nano, ah. so 10, 18 times 10 to the negative 9, that is our prefix, length 75 meters, mm, do we want to use 75 or use something else, ah, 75 lah, 75, 75 meter, cross section area is 2.5, Milli, so must put times 10 to the negative 3, but millimeter square, so must square that also. Okay, calculate that. You should get, if no calculator problem, 0 0.54 ohm. Are you very small, Ani? Good lah. Wire, you don't want a lot of resistance, ma. Uh, three marks for this. First one is from your equation. They see you know how to use this or not. Do you even know the equation? C1. Then they see you plug in values, plug in correct or not. And then lastly, your final answer, though, 0 0.54. Okay, still not too bad. It's more of a direct calculation thing. Then they ask us, calculate current in the wire. Heh. What current in the wire? Oh, yes, there's current in the wire. Calculate current, we want to think of voltage, current, resistance. What's the relationship between these three? Now, don't just use 38 ohms for resistance, huh, because... Now, your wire you just calculated got resistance. So, effectively, these wires here are like resistors or so. Kind of. And they each have a resistance of 0 0.54 ohm. 0 0.54 ohm. So, you need to include those also. So, if my VIR here, I'm going to use for V total and R total. So, the total potential drop across the wire, the, the wire, the... Um, heater and this other wire will be 240, which is also the potential supply. So we have 240 equals to some current. Oh yeah, this thing can go away or not. And total resistance. So you have the heater, you have one wire, and you have another wire. Because they're acting like resistors in series. Ah, don't forget the other two. So calculate your Current, you should get 6.14 amps. If you forgot the others, make sure you mark that down. But for this, uh, first mark comes from you knowing your V equals IR. Do you know V equals IR? Yes. Yes, then you can give yourself a C1. The second mark comes from the total resistance and plugging in the correct value.
that's over here, C1. Especially pay attention to this part. If you did a mistake here, make a note. Okay. Then the last one, final answer, 6.14. In uh, my answer line, I'm going gonna, gonna to run off to 6.1. <coughs> but in your working space, you can keep more decimals. In fact, I encourage you because later you will use this to calculate more things. Okay. Then the third one, power loss in the wires. So just now we have current, we know everything. So actually all these wires, or oh, they will get a bit hot. They will release some energy at a certain rate and that's what we call power loss. So what is the power loss here, including the one down here? Both of it, lah. they say both. Ma. Then you think of your power equation. Which one to use? Ah? P equals IV, P equals IR, I squared R, P, V, R. So many. You can use P equals IV. You can use P equals I square R, or you can use P equals V square over R. They're all the same thing. Change here and there because of Ohm's law on it. I'm going to choose to use P equals to I square R. Because if I want to find V across, potential drop across both wire, extra work for me. Okay lah. So I just find the current through the whole thing, which I already did, 6.14. Now, what do I use for the resistance here? Here, we're talking about wires. So, there's two wires. So, one wire is 0 0.54. Two wires is 2 of it. Law. So, you want to include 0 0.54, but there's two wires. So, 0 0.54 ohm times 2. That will be the total power loss for both wires. You can count both separately and add also, but this is a shortcut. Calculate everything properly. You should get about 40. 0.71 watts. I leave more, no more, more decimal here, but in my final answer area, I can write 41. Yeah, you can round to 41 there. 2 SF. 3 marks. First one, do you know your power equation? Second one, do you plug in stuff properly, especially this one where you have to do times 2? And last one, do you press calculator correctly or not? 3 marks. Okay. Power loss. The final one need you to explain. A lot of uh, paper 2 questions run like this because they will say, they will either ask you to explain or draw a graph. So you have calculation, definition and explanation in every answer or in every question. So make sure you have mastered all three kinds of skills. Law. Can explain, can calculate, can draw a graph, can define. Alright, here what's the problem now? Wire is replaced, oh different wire now, same length. And material so you have the same L same resistivity but different cross-section area what's the effect on power loss in the wires this one you kind of have to think a little carefully here I redraw once again you have your wires which are basically have a resistance of it this is 0 0.54 or never mind let me just leave it blank so, when you change the wire, or how does the resistance change? Before it's 0 0.54, now become what already? Because to find power loss, or you need to know how the resistance change, ma. So, what you could do is, as the first step, figure out how does R change. R here depends on rho L over A. What's different? Same L, same P. A is changing. Okay, okay, okay. So here when your R A area, is it decrease or increase? Previously it's 2.5. Oh, so it dropped. Dropped by how many times? Before this was? Let's check. Ah, there. 25, 2.5 mm. Drop until 0 0.5. How many times is that? Let me check. 2.5 over 0 0.5 is... What's the ratio? 5 times war. So it means your A is decreasing by 5 times. That means your resistance should also increase, not also, should, because it is inversely proportional relationship. So this one should increase by 5 times. Let's write that as our first sentence. So area decreases. Oh, you know why I have to explain or not? Because state and explain now got two command words here. So don't just say, Power will increase. You must say why power increase. That's why we talk about area. Area decreases, you can say five times. So 
your resistance will increase five times. That's our first, that's our explanation. Then we now need to think about power, power loss. How does that affect that? So now your resistance is bigger already. Power, five times ah, or more. Well, don't know power or not. How ah, how to explain? Power loss. Well, to calculate power loss, we need P. Should I use I? No, I don't want to think about current. Current is changing a lot. That leaves us with V squared over R. Then how leh? How to think about this? V and R, we want to find P. The shortest way is to use ratio of V and R because <coughs> current will be very much fun to calculate. So your R is increasing. What happens to the potential drop across, let's say, one of these resistor? Like that. Or wire. I keep saying resistor. Well, to think about it, your heater still got 38 ohm constant. But your two resistance is getting bigger and bigger. So that means they'll be taking a bigger share of the potential. Remember potential share out ma. If you have how many volts is this? 240 volts. Okay, like we draw the circuit one more time. 240 volts. Now you have wire, heater, wire. Heater is just 38 ohms. But this one, the R is increasing. This one, the R also increasing. So that means oh, they will take more and more of the potential drop. Okay, share, share. Ma. <coughs> Bigger resistance, you take more potential. La. You need more energy. No, no, no. Take, take, take. So then, increase, increase, increase. Therefore, how? Ah? Your R resistance is increasing. Potential drop also increasing. So that means more power loss. Lo. So you, want ex you can say that statement. Therefore, you already say resistance increased five times, right? So therefore, potential drop or potential across one of the wires is greater. Because you have more resistance, you take more of the share in the ratio. So, more power loss or power loss greater. Yeah, that's how you can talk about it. Two marks, one is your state, you say more power loss or power loss is greater. That one is your state, but you need to explain. So that's a method mark that must come before that. Uh, state and explain usually is the M1, A1. Uh. So here you say low area decrease, resistance increase, okay, low, that's your method mark. In, in this case, the mark screen is quite generous. If you didn't say five times, also okay. So M1, A1, two marks for this one.